안녕하세요. I will wait for people to join. I'm in the garage again. Waiting, waiting. Hangugo YouTube. In case you're wondering, that's what it says. Hangugo is Korean, Korean language. So Hanguk is Korea, the country. Hanguk all is Korean language. And YouTube. You're on YouTube. So as I'm waiting for Hi, Kyla. As I'm waiting for my viewers to join, today my daughter is in the living room watching me, not next to me, so I don't get distracted. <laughs> okay, so um, last week I ended with a pop quiz. I said, think of um, consonant vowel combinations where if you read right side up or upside down, they make the same sound. Do you remember that? I haven't seen anybody submit their answer, so did you give up? Okay, so I gave one example. Right? This is kun, kun. So even if I turn it upside down, it's still kun. Okay, so what others? Duk, duk. Even if I turn it upside down, it's look. Okay? The third one. If you can think of more, you can just type it. But I'm revealing the answers one by one. Do. Do. So even if I turn it upside down, it's do. Okay? And then the next one would be. Mum, so mum. Okay. Um, um, um means yeah, yes. That's an informal way, so not to adults, not to elders. You say it to your friend. Um, um. Okay. The other one is. Not poop, okay. Poop. There's no such word, but poop. It makes the same sound upside down or right side up. Now, the other two, so I told you there are eight. One, two, three, four, five, six. So there are two more. So I told you that a, a syllable, Korean syllable, has to have at least one consonant and one vowel. All of these have two consonants, but these two, although they're just one consonant, a one vowel. Can you read that? Kyo. So it's a pil and a yo. Kyo. Kyo. But even if I turn it upside down, it's kyo. Ah. Kyo means ticket. So it's actual word. Kyo. Okay. The other one. This is the trickiest, trickiest one. So if anybody gets this, you're a genius. Who? Remember, hue, hue can be written this way, this way, right? So if you write it this way, if I turn it upside down, it's still who. Ah, cool, huh? These are just fun things to know. Okay. And for review, I'm going to write some cartoon characters named on here. And let's practice reading them together. So this is all you kid fans out there, <laughs> my kid viewers. Okay, this is my two-year-old, one of her favorite. Okay, try to read this, it's a cartoon character. Okay, Koo-pi, Koo-pi. So, Although in English, the name is Goofy, I told you that there is no F sound in Korean, so we say P, Goofy, 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 okay? 
That's the first one. What about... This is a Korean cartoon character. I hope you've heard of it. Ah, ta, yo, ta, yo. Do you know that cartoon, ta, yo? It's about buses. They're cute buses. Um, I think there are some on YouTube and um, they're subtitled, so you can watch that. And you can practice Korean, ta, yo. Okay. This one is for my Pokemon lovers. Okay. That's for my son Tai and my nephew Liam. What is that? Mew two. Mew two. Mew two is a Pokemon character. That's all I know. <laughs> uh, I won't be able to tell you more than that, but that's how you read it. Mew two. Okay. This one is a classic. So even if you're not a kid, you should know this character. It's not a cartoon character, I guess. Maybe that was a cartoon. It's a video game character. Ma Li O. Or it should be Super Mario, right? Super Mario. Super Mario. Okay, what about this is not a cartoon, but it's a character, fictional character. Okay. Chewbacca. 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 From Star Wars. What about this one? So you can read as I'm writing too. Mini onju. Minions. So although minions end with an S, when you pronounce it, it almost sounds like a Z, right? Minions. And I told you that um, there's no Z sound in Korean, so we use the ch. Mini onju. Mini onju. Okay. Um, what about. Okay. So we had a consonant ending just now. Here's more consonant endings. So this one ends with the consonant too. Another one of my two year old's favorite. Ponard Duck. Ponard Duck. Donald Duck. Ponard Duck. We'll do two more. Okay, maybe this cartoon is not for kids, but. I'm sure you know who he is. Homer Simpson. Homer Simpson. Okay, Homer Simpson. Okay, last one. This one includes something we haven't learned yet, which we're going to cover today. Let's see if you would be able to read it or recognize it. Another one of my two year old favorite. So, the way I can, so notice our two pup, double pup. Okay. Ororo. 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 That's a lot of people's favorite, right? So, that's a preview to what we're going to learn today compound consonant. But before we go into that, I want to teach you more about. Uh, consonant endings. So we we saw a few words with consonant endings, and uh, there's a rule. So I told you that. Um, tea good. So tea good. When it begins with this, it sounds like almost like a D. When it ends with it, I said it's either D or T, and it depends. Hmm, it depends. Or something like shoot, 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 shoot. I told you that all of these, when it ends with them, it sounds like T. 
So how do you distinguish, right? But there's an exception, I told you. So here is the exception. So if it ends with any of these, it sounds like T by itself. But if it's followed by an eum, remember eum? No sound. The sound carries over. Okay, so for example. Ot. Yung o shiot. Doesn't it look like a person? Yeah, this uh this word means clothes. So think of a person wearing clothes. Ot. Okay. So ot. By itself, it sounds like ot, ot, ot. Sounds like a T ending, right? But let's say I put eum next to it. This shio carries over when you read it, when you pronounce it. So it sounds like oshi, oshi, instead of oti or oti, okay? Oshi, okay? So another example. Oh, I forgot one. Keep it. Okay. Okay, if you read this, it's patta. Patta. It means to receive or accept. So, by itself, or when there's another consonant, it just sounds like pat, patta. Sounds like a T, right? But, if it's followed by an eum, right? The sound carries over, so you would say pada, pada, instead of pata or pata. Okay, pata, pad, pada, pada. Okay. So let's practice with another word, a word that you should really know when you study Korean. Probably my uh, son's favorite word or my kids. Pop. Pop. Okay. Pop is literally means rice, cooked rice. But because Koreans eat rice as the main meal or it's a staple, pop can also mean meal. So if somebody says, have you had pop? It doesn't mean have you had rice. It means have you eaten a meal? Okay. Pop. Pop. More or so pop. Okay. So by itself, pop. You don't say pop, right? You say pop. Sounds like B-A-P. That's a that's an idol group, right? I think. <laughs> B-A-P. Um, but if it's followed by Ying, how would you pronounce it? Okay, I think I heard somebody say Pabi. Okay. <laughs> Telepathy, okay. Pabi. Pabi, right? Or Another favorite word my kids like to say, mokta. Mokta means to eat. So, kiok in this case sounds like hey, mokta, mokta. But if an eun follows it, mogo, mogo. My uh, two year old loves to say this, mogo, okay, mogo, eat. Okay, so. You get the point, right? When there's eum that follows, the consonant before it, it kind of carries over. Only when you pronounce it, not when you write it, okay? Another rule is with hyut. When there's hyut, um, for example, this is a useful word to know. Chua, chua. So I didn't say choha. In this case, I just say chua. It's almost silent. Chua. Chua means to like or um, it's good. Okay. So if you say pizza chua, that means uh, either pizza is good or you like pizza. Pizza chua. Okay. Chua, chua. And of course, um, if you watch a lot of Korean drama, you will see this a lot. Like the guy would say chua hang. <laughs> okay, so important word to know, chua. Okay, but if hyu is followed by kiok, tigut, or chut, 
the sound changes a little, okay? So this sounds like, you don't write it that way, but it sounds like k. And tigu sounds like t. And chiu sounds like ch. So just add, a, add another line, right? So for example, toa, but here, there's a kyo that follows it. So how would you read it? Choko, choko, right? The student made this kyok sound like kyok, so choko, choko, okay? What about, how would you read that? So not choda, but chota, cho, and then because the tigut follows cute, Sounds like ta ta chota chota. This is nice chota. Okay. In this case, chiu sounds like chiu, right? So chochi chochi chochi. Okay. So I'm going to read you a, a two sentences to model what we just. Talked about. So pay close attention to what I say as you read along. Okay. So pay attention to the orange boxes, how I pronounce them, okay? But of course, you can pay attention to everything, right? 엄마가 타주신 옷을 받고 기분이 좋다. 밥도 먹고 커피도 마셔서 더 좋고. Okay, so did you notice? Okay, so if you want to know what it means, I'll quickly translate for you. So I'm my feel. I'm feeling happy. I'm feeling good because I received clothes that my mom bought. So because my mom bought me clothes, I'm very happy. Okay, and because I had. Rice or meal, right? Pop. I had a uh, meal and also drank coffee. I'm even happier. That's what it means. Okay. So I'll read it one more time so you can hear the sound. 엄마가 사주신 옷을 받고 기분이 좋다. 밥도 먹고 커피도 마셔서 더 좋고. Okay. So this is just, you know, when you decide to read Korean, it's, it's just to help you with the pronunciation. And when you hear somebody say these things, you wonder, huh, how come that person pronounced it that way? I'm just explaining that to you. And it's also important to know for what we're going to uh, learn today, double consonants or compound consonants, okay? Because some are double, so some, like two identical consonants together. Some are two different ones. So I'm calling the whole category compound consonants, okay? So you saw how I wrote pororo. So those were pyup together, right? So I will show you how to write each one. There are only five, five consonants that can be double, okay? So I will model how to write them and what that sounds like and if that uh consonant double consonant could go in the beginning or end okay so first kyok kyok can be doubled okay and this sounds like k k so one sounds like k k two is a more harsher sound k k okay and this one can go in the beginning or end both okay the next one is tigut so tigut can be doubled sometimes when people write fast like me they also write like this they're the same thing okay you might see me write write this so don't judge <laughs> okay um i'm a native speaker so i just do it the native way so you can do that too if you want okay and this one sounds like 
So one is two, two, two. Two is two, two, two. Okay, you can pronounce with me to practice. I, I think I hear you. Okay. And uh, next one is pub. So pub can be double. So it can be written this way, pub twice, or people like me write it this way. Just one pub and then a line in between. And this sounds like p, p, like when you say oppa. Okay, pa, pa. So one is p, p, p. Two is p, p. Okay, and this one can only go in the beginning. So these two can only go in the beginning. Uh, words never end with these on the bottom. Okay. Next one can go in the beginning or end. So shield. Shield. Written twice. Sounds like s, s. So one is s, s. Two is s. So a little harsher sound. And that can go in the beginning or end. Okay, and last one is chu twice. Okay, so that sounds like chu chu, and that can only go in the beginning, not the end. Okay, so don't worry about oh, can this go in the beginning? This at the end. Just um, I don't think you have a lot of chance to write, and you don't have to worry about spelling too much because even native Korean speakers. Some um, some spellings are confusing. You just have to know the word. So just like English, sometimes you're confused. Wait, how do I write this? Mississippi, how many S's? How many P's, right? You just know, or you don't know maybe, <laughs> and that's okay. okay? It, doesn't, it doesn't show how smart or not smart you are. Some people are just better at spelling and some people are not. And it's a matter of if you want to be good at it, you just practice, okay? But I just want you to know how to recognize the sound when you see it or hear it, okay? So that's good enough for now. So I told you the, the rules of the consonant ending. So let's see if you can apply that to here. And um, yeah, let's see if you can remember the rule. Okay, so this one means to wipe or clean. So what if what if it's written this way? Is it oh I think I heard somebody say it. Takka, takka. Okay, so this sound carries over. Takka, takka. In real life, a lot of people say takka. Even they even make the sound harsher. Takka, takka. But that's just how people pronounce it. But this is the right way to write it. Takka. Taka. Taka. Okay, I'm taka right now. <laughs> okay, what about this one? This one is a useful word to know. Ita, ita, to have or to exist. Okay, ita, what if it's followed by an il? The sound carries over, right? So, isa, isa. Okay. So let's see if we could distinguish some sounds. I know for non-native um, Korean speakers, or if you're not exposed to the Korean language, it might be hard to distinguish between the single sound and the double sound, but let's practice. Okay, so I have some, can you see that? So, kung means ball, kung, Means bean. Gong. Gong means you're pouting. Gong. Okay, so gong, 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 gong. So I know there are only slight differences, and um, if you can't distinguish it, it's okay. We're practicing. And of course, you would know by context, right? If somebody tells you to eat gong, you're not going to eat a ball. You're not gonna eat, I don't know, I don't, I don't know if you could eat pouting, but kung, kung mogo, that means eat bean, okay? Or if somebody tells you to play with kung, maybe you're playing with beans, I don't know, kung, but you would know by context. Kung, 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 okay? 
Guck mal, das war. Tal means moon. Tal means mask. Tal means daughter. Tal, tal, tal. Tal, tal, tal. I think I hear people repeating after me. That's good. Thank you for doing that without me telling you. <laughs> tal, tal, tal. Tal, tal. Tal, tal. Tal, tal. Pul means fire. Pul. Pul can be grass or it can be glue. Pul. Pul. Pul means horn. Pul. 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 Okay, with shield, there are only two things you have to distinguish. So she, she can be poem or it can be our time. She, she can be a seed or last name. So I'm Chong Shi. My last name is Chong. Okay? So she, 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 she. <laughs> okay. Jiut. So Jim. Jim could be load or burden or luggage. Jim. Chim. Chim could be spit, which we're trying to cover these days, right? Chim. Or it can be acupuncture. Jim. Jim means steamed or stewed. Okay. So Jim. Chim. Jim. Like Kalbi Jim. Do you like Kalbi Jim? Kalbi Jim Chua. Jim. Chim. Jim. Jim. Chim. Jim. Okay, so let's see if you can distinguish. So I will say one of these sounds. See if you can guess which one I'm saying. Kum, kum, kum. That's ball. Kum, kum. That's pouting, right? Kum, number three. Okay. Kum, kum, kum. Tal. Tal. This one. Tal. 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 Pull. Pull. That one. Pull. 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 She. She. She, 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 she. Chim, chim. Jim, chim, jim. Okay. Easy, right? <laughs> if it's not easy yet, it'll get easy. So don't worry. Okay. Now, this is a little trickier. So even native Koreans don't have this. Perfect. So maybe if you get this perfect, then you're more advanced, right? So I'm going to teach you uh, what combinations of consonants are possible, and these are all endings. So none of these go. None. No word can begin with these combinations. Okay. So you might want to take notes, just so you know how it sounds like. So I will teach you. What combinations are there, and um, whether you pronounce the first one or the last one? Okay. So first one, kiok and shio together. What? Kiok and shio together? Yes. So all of these only go on the bottom. They never start with this combination. Okay. So if it ends this way, you only pronounce the first one. Okay. For example, that's a word, mok, mok. So that means portion. So my portion, your portion, ne mok, di mok. Okay, mok. But remember that rule where if an iung follows it, you pronounce the one before. So that yeah, that applies here. So by itself, you would say mok. 
But if there's an ing next to it, you pronounce both. Because you pronounce this, then this gets carried over. So how would you pronounce this? Mokshi. Mokshi. Okay? So if you said that correctly, high five. High five. Virtual high five. Mokshi or fist pump. Okay? Mokshi. Okay? So in this case, by itself, you only pronounce the kyok. Okay? Next one is noon and chiu together. This one is pretty common, especially this word is very common. So in this case, you only pronounce the first one, anta, anta, okay? Anta, so you pronounce the noon. But again, if an eel follows it, by the way, it means to sit, right? To sit, anja, anja. So this one, you pronounce the first one, and then this, because eel follows it, the sound carries over, anja, anja, okay? So by itself, you pronounce noon only. Okay, next one is, this one is pretty common too. Okay, noon and heel together. So this one, you pronounce the noon. And remember, although when an eun follows, that sound carries over, not when there is heel. Remember the heel rule? So in this case, mana, mana. Mana means a lot, there's a lot, okay? The heel rule is, Tigut follows a hute. So this sounds like t, t, right? So the way you would pronounce this is manta, manta, because of this hute. But by itself, you just pronounce the nun. Mana, manta. Okay, there's a lot. Okay, next one is this one. Okay. In this case, you pronounce actually the kyok when it's by itself. So this one means to read. Ikta. So when you pronounce this, you just say ikta, ikta. You only pronounce the last one. But when an yung follows it, you go this way again. Ego, ego. To read, okay? Ego. And some people do pronounce this ita, ita. But it's okay if you just say ita, ita, ita. Okay? But when there's an idiom that follows it, you have to pronounce ego, ego, okay? Next one, lir and mium together. Also in this case, you only pronounce the mium. Okay. Omta, omta. Omta means to transmit. Oh, don't transmit coronavirus. Okay. Omta. But if an eum follows, hopefully you know the rule by now. Olma, olma. Omta, olma. Okay. Lirium, okay. And you don't have to memorize all of these, just know how to recognize them, okay? This one is pretty rare. Um, it's an ancient way to write it. And we have I Googled it because I'm like, I don't I don't remember any word with this anymore because there was a word that uh we use that contained this, but we no longer spell it that way. So I'm like, what other word can, can use this? So when I Google, there are five Korean words that use this. That's not a lot. So when you do see it, you pronounce the liu, okay? And again, if an ian follows it, you pronounce both in order, okay? So don't worry about that one. You rarely see it, okay? Liu and tu, what? Okay, 
So in this case, you pronounce liu. So how would you say it? Hulta, hulta. It means to scan or skim through. Okay, hulta. But that yung rule, right? How would you pronounce it? Hulta, hulta. Yes. If you said that, you're correct. Hulta. Okay. Liu two. This one, you pronounce the second one. <laughs> okay, so upta, upta it means to recite like a poem. Upta, and when an ing follows, ulpo, ulpo. Okay, two more left. We're almost there. Okay, liu, hiu. In this case, you pronounce the liu. This is a very useful word. It appears a lot in the Korean language. Shiro. So you see the hiu. So when an yin follows, you don't pronounce he, right? Shiro, shiro. Shiro means no, I don't like it, or I don't want to, I dislike it. So this is very useful word. I hear a lot from my two-year-old. Oh, she says ani a lot. No, shiro. Shiro means I don't want to. I don't like it. Shiro. Oh, my six-year-old says that a lot. Shiro. Shiro. Okay. So the hiu rule. When tigut follows it, shita. Shita sounds like t. Or tigut follows it. Shi chi, shi chi. Okay. Last one. This is also an, a useful one. Okay. So this one by itself, you pronounce the pew. Opta. Opta means don't have it or doesn't exist. Opta. It's not there. Opta. Opta. But shi. Opso. So you pronounce it. Opso. Okay, so good job. You're very patient. Okay. I will practice reading these. Um, so I'll read you. I wrote this. It almost sounds like uh, something that can happen in my house, but with somebody else, not Opa. Okay, so. Again, pay attention to the underlined portions, and um, I will I will read it for you once, explain what it means in case you're wondering, and then read it again. 엄마가 삶은 닭, 쑥떡, 찐빵을 만드셨다. 아빠는 좋아하시며 앉아서 드셨고, 오빠는 꿀터 보고는 좋아하는 꿀떡은 없고 맛없는 쑥떡만 있다고 얼굴을 찌푸리며 싫다고 했다. So this means mom made boiled chicken. Uh, soup is mugwort. It's an herb, kind of bitter. I hear the garbage truck outside. <laughs> Sukdok uh, mugwort rice cake. Jinpang is steamed buns. Mandishatta, me. So, mom, mom made boiled chicken, uh, mugwort rice cake, and steamed bun. Appanen chuashimyo. That means dad was happy, he was thrilled. So, he sat and ate. But, Uppa, older brother, Kultobogonen, skimmed through, kind of scanned. 좋아하는 꿀떡은 없고 맛없는 쑥떡만 있다고 said his favorite um, honey rice cake isn't there only the tasteless yucky mugwort rice cake is there so 얼굴을 찌푸리며 so he frowned and 싫다고 했다 
and he said he was he didn't like it or he was not happy okay so this would not happen with um my son my son would eat everything maybe my six-year-old might say that okay <laughs> so i will read it one more time so you can pay attention to the sound 엄마가 삶은 닭 쑥떡 찐빵을 만드셨다 아빠는 좋아하시며 앉아서 드셨고 오빠는 훑어보고는 좋아하는 꿀떡은 없고 맛없는 쑥떡만 있다고 얼굴을 찌푸리며 싫다고 했다. Okay. Hope you follow that. Okay. So, any questions? I know um, it's a little tricky, the compound consonants, but like I said, just know how to recognize a sound. Um, and if you don't spell it correctly, no big And your homework, you have to keep practicing, especially if you get stuck with, still get stuck with vowels and consonants, the simple ones, you have to keep practicing. And I told you last time that the best way is to look around the house and see if there's anything written in Korean and try to read it. Keep reading it. Um, if you live with somebody who who speaks Korean, great. You know, go through their stuff. No, just kidding. <laughs> okay. So, Kyla, don't look through your stuff. Okay. <laughs> so, here is what I found in my pantry. So, I tried to find something with a compound consonant, and I found this. So... <laughs> Yuginong, Yuginong means organic. Nude, nude. Kulbam. Kul means honey, and pam is chestnut. So it's not honey chestnut, but it's so delicious that it tastes like honey. Kulbam, so kulbam. And I also found this in my pantry. So this is all emergency food, right? Quarantine food. So even the brand has a double uh, double tea good. So Otugi, Otugi, Bukyeong, Bukyeong is uh, Beijing in Korean. Bukyeong, Jajang, Jajang. Okay, that's Jajang, Jajangmyeon. Okay. Ooh, and this one. Ooh. I saved one for I don't know. If you ever, if you ever want to torture yourself, <laughs> you can eat this. But uh, no, this one is a little better because it's uh, creamier. Garubo, like carbonara, it has like cream. So this is a uh, smoother. But this one by itself is like super duper hot. You might see a lot of mukbang featuring the plain. This one, it'll burn you. Inside out. <laughs> okay, so let's read this together. So you see the liu kiop together, and I'm only pronouncing the kiop. Fire chicken uh, fried noodle. So it's like fiery hot chicken flavor fried noodle, and it'll really burn you. So you could try it if you dare. Okay, so like this, you can find a lot of things around the house that has Korean things on it. And you can even Google, if you're a kid, have your parents next to you and, you know, you can find Korean um, items and try to read them. Okay, so keep practicing and I will try to see you again on Saturday. Annyeong! Annyeong, annyeong!